there are three passes that allow access to Lesotho from Atatiela. From west to east, these are Ongelijksnek, which is a 4x4 only route, then the bigger, more popular pass, which is Kwachasnek, but a little bit further to the east is the much more difficult and spectacular Ramat Selitsos Pass. All three passes end at the South African Lesotho border posts of the same names. With Ramatsilitso being something of a tongue twister, the border post is locally known as Rama's Gate, and no doubt over time, the connecting pass will also adopt the name of Rama's Pass. The official government large-scale map listed as Ramaliso without the T, so there are already a number of versions of spelling, but we are indexing it as per the spelling on the notice board at the border post. It's a major pass at 14 kilometers length, displaying an altitude variance of 682 meters and an average gradient of 1 in 25, but there are very many steep sections that do get up to 1 in 5. Three of the steeper sections have been concreted, which include both hairpin sections, as well as a section close to the summit, which now makes this pass accessible to normal vehicles. When we drove this pass in 2012, it was a serious 4x4 route only doable by high clearance 4x4s with low range, but the road has now been upgraded to the point that a 4x2 utility vehicle will manage without a problem. Unless you have plans and a valid passport to enter Lesotho, you'll need to turn around at the SA border control point and return the same way to Batatiela. If you're continuing onwards into Lesotho, you'll be impressed at how smart and clean the South African border control point is, and on the other end of the scale, you'll be disappointed with the Lesotho side of officialdom. At the right-hand bend coming up here, you'll reach the official highest point of the pass at 2,298 meters above sea level. Find a suitable spot here and get out of your vehicle to enjoy the incredible views down over the Drakensberg valleys. This is the ninth highest pass in South Africa. From this point, you're faced with a 14 km continuous descent towards the bottom of the pass. Matatiel is the busiest country town in the area and the central point of commerce in the region. Dairy farming is the principal activity. There's good trout fishing to be had in the numerous streams of the area and as a town, Matatiela is the reference point for all the northern Trans sky. The name Matatiela is clearly a Sutu word based on the Sisutu phrase Matata Aila, meaning the ducks have gone. The residents in and around Matatiela, as in the most of the northern Transkei region, are generally bilingual in Shlubi, Isikosa and Sisutu. Many of the residents also speak English. Evidence of Stone Age inhabitants in the form of art adorning rocks are found throughout the area. In the early 1860s, the Greek was settled here for migrating across the Drakensberg from Philippolis. The town was the center of cattle rustling and gun running and order was only restored in 1874 by the Cape Mounted Riflemen. The town then became a municipality in 1904. Matatiela sits conveniently and centrally on the R56 route between Pietermaritzburg in KZN and Middelburg in the Eastern Cape. Knowledgeable travelers will know that this stretch of road is a viable and scenic alternative to the busy N2 between Durban and the Eastern Cape. There is much to be discovered in this neck of the woods where travelers can take in spectacular mountainous foothills, rural villages, sparkling streams, indigenous forests and top of the world views. The Matatiela area is just a few hours drive from Durban or Rumtata, making it a superb weekend destination. The area offers unmatched views from on top of the world, there are guided walking or horse riding tours to local rock art treasures, bird watching escapes or one could enjoy the clean crisp air on a stroll through the mountains. The town is also commonly known as Sweet Matat or just simply Matat. It's also become home to some of the very best adventure biking terrain in the world and it's not uncommon to see whole families enjoying some time riding their bikes out in the open. If you enjoy the peace and quiet of fly fishing, you've come to the right place. Matatiela is a popular trout fishing hotspot and offers a number of pristine destinations that are perfect for lovers of this cunning sport. Here one is spoilt for choice when it comes to fishing in the area. With Matat being a water-rich area, one can enjoy fishing for rainbow and brown trout, bass and carp. There's a wide selection of fishing options available, with locations ranging from stocked farm dams and a lake to cold mountain streams and raging rivers. This video ends at the 6km mark, just before the steeper switchback section, which is featured in part 2.